So uh, we're going to talk about another trailer that released uh, out of nowhere. Um, I don't think it's a sequel, a direct sequel to Cloverfield 2. They haven't, I mean, to Cloverfield, they haven't really confirmed that. Well, it's in the same universe. It's, yeah. It's, it exists in the same world that the Cloverfield movie took place, but for sure. But we have a, uh, another Cloverfield movie titled 10 Cloverfield Lane. Uh, the trailer just dropped, I think, sometime last week. I want to ask you guys' opinion on it. What do you think? Whoever wants to start. Uh, I love it. I think it was so good. Um, you know, it was kind of a little bit slow in the beginning, but then there was this kind of build all the way till the end, and, you know, what we see here, uh, look outside, but... Um, man, it, it, the fact that this came out of nowhere, I just love that it came out of nowhere. Uh, I kind of did a little backstory on it because um, I wrote a thing on, on the art on the site. But this movie, it was they were working under a title called Valencia for the longest time, and people had no idea that this was a Cloverfield movie. And then all of a sudden, it gets attached to Thirteen Hours, and it's called Ten Cloverfield Lane, and the trailer drops the same day. And it's it's like so cool that. You know that JJ, who JJ Abrams is producing it, um, that this thing just drops out of nowhere in a world today where everything gets leaked online, and you know people are searching for things. Um, I think it's so cool that this was kept under wraps for so long. And um, as for the movie, you know, uh, I was a, I'm a huge fan of Cloverfield. I love Cloverfield. I think it's awesome. Uh, one of the better um, found footage films out there. Um, whether it's a sequel, not a sequel, direct sequel, whatever, uh, it doesn't matter. It's going to have some kind of connection. Whether, because I mean, at the end of Cloverfield, they did dro- drop a nuclear bomb on the monster. Uh, spoiler: It's been out for like ten years. But um, so a nuclear nuclear fallout would make sense, and you know they're hiding in some kind of a bunker, and maybe there are more monsters out there or something. I don't know. But um, it looks exciting. It looks intense. It, it looks like a, a thriller. You know, John Goodman, his character almost looks to be holding these characters hostage in a way. Uh, I kind of read up on some of Mary Elizabeth Wentz's comments saying that she's that she may have just woken up in his care or something. Um, but, I mean, it looks thrilling. It looks exciting. It's just a tease. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more on it. And it's, the fact that it's only two months away is really cool. Uh, so, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I thought the trailer was great. Uh, Jacob. Yeah, I liked it a lot, and I I liked the first Cloverfield film, but I didn't love it per se. You know, it's it's very intense and you know very unique. I, I've never seen a movie like it. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, I remember when it the fir- movie first came out, and everyone's like, "Oh, are they gonna make a sequel?" And for the longest time, the answer was pretty much no. And I love that they surprised us with it. That's the best part. And I had a little bit of a different experience with this trailer because. I was just, so I had heard the trailer come out, but I didn't, you know, I wasn't like clamoring to go watch it, but I was at work and I was watching a different YouTube video and, you know, a trailer popped up as an ad before another video that I was going to watch. And, you know, I was getting ready to, um, you know, click skip and I didn't, I had no idea what it was. And then like the first 10 seconds start and I'm like, wait, what is this? It's like, it looks very interesting. And I'm, I've, I've became a huge fan of John Goodman I think he's like one of the best character actors we have in the business and he's like he always you know plays these side roles really what really well so I was like what is this this feels like very weird but I have no idea what it was I thought it was like a zombie movie or something like that and then you know it, it just keeps getting better and better and better and the intense builds up and then she smashes him across the face with the bottle and runs up the stairs and locks them in locks them in and I, and then all of a sudden I see the, the name Cloverfield pop up and I'm like, holy crap, that's amazing. Like, so for me, I didn't know what I was watching. And so that's a whole different experience rather than, you know, clicking on the trailer, knowing it's a Cloverfield yeah. trailer. So I'm super excited for this film. And normally be like coming in 2017. No, it's coming in two or three months. So that's amazing. <clears throat> yeah, I've never seen the first Cloverfield movie. I'm definitely going to watch it. But this trailer, before Suicide Squad came out, this trailer, for me, was the best trailer trailer of the year. Granted, we're like three weeks into the year. But, I mean, it's it's really well done. A lot of build up. John Goodman takes the ball to the face. And just, you know, that's awesome. Like, this guy's going to do great. Um, Mary, what's her name? Mary Winstead. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She hasn't really done much. And 
recent years. Uh, right? She's been on the the uh, indie film market for a long time. She did a couple films last year, and she's been actually building a lot of buzz. She was in uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yeah, I loved her yeah. in that role. But uh, I'm excited to see what she does. And, I mean, I don't really have much to say besides it being a great trailer. I've never seen the first movie, but... Dude, the first one is like... It. It's so intense, and it's the perfect, um, like, it's such a great adaptation of what it would actually be like in a city that's overran by a monster. Like, it follows these group of kids, or I guess adults, that... Well, are, they're all at a party at first. Yeah, and it and will it, follows this certain group after they yeah. leave, where this monster comes and everything, and them trying to escape the city, and it's like, it's exactly what would happen if that actually happened. And I love it. Like I could watch that movie all the time. But going back to what you said about no sequel, if I remember correctly, the there was a post credit scene, like the original original post credit scenes where uh, there was someone on a Ferris wheel, and like a monster popped up out of the ocean or something. Oh, okay. Like but yeah, I don't remember. I mean, like that might be a totally different saying, movie. Like, but they um they just, they always said no to a sequel, exactly. but they left the door open. Mm -hmm, exactly. So I. I don't know. It might be for a different movie or not, but you're, Gio, you're going to have to tell us when you watch it, but I feel like there was a post credit scene in the movie. I could be wrong, though. Well, it's very interesting because it's kind of cool that it's not a direct sequel because yeah. this is just a little side story on, like, what happens to the world after that takes place. Like, how do people survive after that? And, you know, how do you move forward from that? And, like, it can be totally different characters in a different part of the world or a different part of the city whatever so that's i'm intrigued by the idea of the yeah film. for sure yeah.